Did you, did you notice how we were able to fly away from the blob? Yeah. Like if we fire our, our thrusters enough? What if we wanted to make the blob infinitely sticky? What could we do to modify the code to get it to do that? Right, so if I hit it right. and then I go... Right, so it sticks for a bit and then it'll go. Right. Okay. So how do we how do we get it to just stay together pretty much no matter what? And there isn't a whole lot of advice on how to do this. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I know what the trick is. Um, I don't know if you remember the trick. I don't remember the trick. I know what I would have done, which is different than what you did. If I would have some kind of event or something once the collision happens and just never let it leave once that's happened. Like, yeah, there's a couple different ways of doing it. I don't know how JavaScript does um, events. Yeah, there's a couple different ways of doing it. Um, what I think, yeah, so what you could do is you could add a variable to the beginning and say uh, is collided equal false and then set it equal to true and if it's equal to true then you don't let them separate or something. Right. Another way to do it is to, let's copy this if statement here. Just this, this thing? Just the if statement. And we're going to take it up to the update location section. Update location. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is we want to uh, make sure we want to do something for this x variable for the rocket. So if, so if the thing is collided, then we want to update the. So we just want x and y to equal x blob? No, well. If it's collided, we want to use the blob velocity to update the rocket. Oh. Because that way okay. they're all they'll always have oh, right. this, effectively so always have the same. Equal velocity. to the uh, Yeah, so plus that equals that would just move it to the position of it. Again, there's a couple different ways of doing this. This is how I would do it, but um, that's right. So instead of using Vx times dt, we're gonna use Vx blob times dt. And the same thing for y. But we want to make sure that if they're not collided, that it's still. Um, it still, still does the normal thing, right? So, what we actually have to do is we have to have an else statement. So, if it's collided, uh, then use this. But if it's not collided, else. Do the normal stuff. Then, yeah, so we, we want to well, I think cut this work. out and paste it into there. I think it should work either way. Well, no, because I guess I, I guess if it is collided, you don't want it to run the code twice. Yeah. So, um, right. So you want to do it like that, and so now it should be. So go ahead and drag it in the middle again. Yeah. So it's going nice and slow. It made it easy for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Uh, ah. All right. So all now. All right. There we are. And I'll try and so get away. Let's try and get away. And it just just drags it with me. Right. Now there is still a way. There's still a, there's a clever way of getting away here now. Right. If but, you go but, off the screen. Yeah. If you go off the screen, then there's this brief moment where you're not collided because the blob has jumped to the other side of the screen before the rocket has. And so you might imagine trying to figure out how to code that up to make sure that that never happens. Uh, I, I haven't thought about how you would do it, but there's got to be some way to do it. Um, so that's, but anyway, it's much stickier than it was before, right? Um, the only way to get out is, is through the sides. There's one last thing I want to I wanna show, so maybe I'll take, take over on the, sure. the code here. So, um, so, uh, there's a Pi Day video, and in the Pi Day video, we have this thing where there's, you know, there's some point, and then there's some origin to that coordinate system. Go ahead and stop those. You know, there's some, you know, there's some point here. There's some origin in the coordinate system, and you want to know what this distance is, right? Um, and uh, right, so there's some origin in the coordinate system. There's some point out here. So this is the origin zero zero. This is some point x y. And uh, in the Pi Day video, we talked about how you know, we really wanted to know what this distance was because we wanted to know whether it was inside the circle or outside the circle. And 
to figure out what that distance was, we just have to remember that this is a right triangle. And so this is your x, this is your y. And uh, we, you know, we realize that this distance r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And so if, if this distance is less than big R, then it's within the circle or it's not. Now here, we, we kind of been treating the blob like it's a square. Because if the x value is, with, is within a certain part and if the y value is within a certain part. So one of the things you can do here is that you actually can kind of hit the corner. It's, it's, only I would notice such things, but do you notice how I'm not actually touching the blob now? Right. Okay. Um, so, it, so if I kind of intentionally like aim at the corners, I can kind of hit the blob without actually touching it, which is kind of weird. You see how I, see how I'm I'm moving the blob and I'm not actually touching it. See that? Yeah. That shouldn't happen, right? So, um, because in the code, these if statements are set up like it, as if it's a square. Right. So, if it's more of a circle, well, then we can ask, you know, if the distance between, you know, the, the rocket and the blob, you know, if this distance r, if that r is less than big R, you know, where this is... The radius of the blob. Right, where this is big R here, right? Then that's a collision. And so we can rewrite those collision statements uh, this way instead of uh, some other way. Um, the only thing we have to remember is that, you know, in this case, the blob is at 0, 0. But in general, the blob is going to be at some Some location, random coordinate, yeah. Right? And so we kind of have to rewrite this thing. And maybe I should put up a dark screen. Just for so we kind of have to rewrite this thing and say, OK, well, what if we had, you know, instead of this, uh, instead of this as being our origin, this is our origin. Zero, zero. Uh, so we get so like x1, y1? Yeah, well, x blob, y blob, right? Right, yeah, yeah. And so instead of doing that, we've got uh, x blob, y blob, like that. And then this, the question is, what does this become, right? So erase that real quick and then uh, so this is no longer x right because x is is relevant to this coordinate system this is now x minus x blob right and then this y this y is no longer relative to this origin it's relative to that and so this y is really the difference in the y values of the rocket and the blob y blob and so now this R, so that, oh, you, okay. you know, so if this is, you know, A squared plus B squared and the square root of that, then R is going to be the square root of X minus X blob squared plus Y minus Y blob squared. Oh, okay. Right? I should make that too high. <laughs> You get the idea. There's a square root there. Uh, can you see that? There we go. Better. Um, okay. Slightly better, right? So, uh, do you want to put code. that in the code? Sure. Okay. So now, so now, if you try to hit the, the edge, you know, the corner of it, it won't. Uh. uh. That's strange. Um, 
That's worse. Oh, that is worse. Um... Did I do the equation right? Looks okay to me. There's no errors. Um... Oh, you, you made it infinitely sticky. So get, oh, okay. So go, go ahead and get rid of that code. Uh, what was, oh, that was, that's right, that was earlier. Yeah, just go ahead and get rid of all that. All right, here we go. Uh, okay. scroll, scroll down to the bottom of the code before we try this again, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend like we didn't just do that. Gotcha. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay. Okay, yeah, yep. that was so pretty good. Right that, was, that was a pretty near miss. Didn't, didn't do anything. So you have an even harder job because now you have to and now I have hit to the corner and show that hit the corner and show that I that you really can't get quite close to the to the circle. That was pretty close. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a circle and not a square. Okay. Cool. Um. Do you want to try to ram into one of the corners and just show that it's pretty, it's closer than it is normally? No fudge. It's so convenient to have it just stay still for me. Yeah, so that, so it gets a little bit closer. So anyway, yeah. this, so this is the right way to do it, I would say, because it's a circular shaped object. Um, you can do it the other way, it works about as well. Um, I, I, I don't know that there's, as long as we had the physics is right here, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's more of a yeah. geometry issue. But, but anyway, we got it working, so thanks for your help, Julie. No problem. And uh, maybe hopefully we can do this again sometime. Yeah, time. can and make a soccer simulator or something. Hit it into the goal. I'm up for anything. So, uh, so have a great semester, and thanks again for joining us. So. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. See you guys. Thanks, guys.